Blender Octane versus Blender Cycles. Which one is faster? Which one has more features? Which one is better? Or which one should I use? That's what we're gonna get into in this video. Let's get straight into it. Alrighty, quick trivia question. At the moment, what renderer am I using? Is it Cycles? Is it Octane? I'm gonna count down to three and give you a chance to decide. Three, two, one. The answer is Cycles. I'm using cycles at the moment, right? Just want to give you a little bit of trivia there. Quickly, how do I switch over to Octane? Well, I'm using the standalone version of Octane Blender and I'm using cycles right now. If I wanted to switch over to Octane, I've made a whole new scene, which I'm gonna come up here to scene, Octane, hit the renderer, boom, just like that. Now I'm in Octane, just like that. For me, the big issue is why do so many people have an issue? Why should I use Octane? Why should I use Blender? My, my thing is why not use both? Literally by a flip of a switch, I can be in Octane or I can be in Blender. Literally that easy. It's absolutely fantastic. Now that I got that out of the way. Now for me, honestly, this is not, you know, a scientific, I didn't, I spent months gathering data to put this together. No, this is just a quick video because a lot of people were like, this is the question they always get to me. Why should I use Octane or why should I not use Cycles? And I'm like, why not use Octane? Because it's, you can, it's there, it's free. It's free. Cinema 4D people have to pay for Octane. I think 50, 60 bucks a month. I don't know what it is. Plus they have to pay for Cinema 4D. For us, we just have to download it, but we do have to pay for it in knowledge. The time to learn this. And that's why my channel is here for you guys to help you learn Blender Octane. So I'm gonna quickly jump in here. So first of all, one thing, let's look at the viewport. Like which is faster? Do I have a faster viewport in Octane or do I have a faster viewport in Cycles? I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my overlays. Now, one thing that's really nice with Octane, I can, I literally have my viewport set to 50. Between the, both of my scenes, everything is set up as close as possible, right? So I have my viewport preview set to 50 samples. And you can see right here, 50 out of 50 and it took 13 seconds let's just go ahead and remove that around so it can do again so now it's going to count down and it's, here's the elapsed time so i can literally see how long it's going to take to get to 50 seconds or 50 samples and right now we are at about boom 10.97 seconds my gpu is a 1050 ti gtx very old on a core i5 laptop okay 32 megabytes of RAM or whatever, whatever that is, but it's a very old laptop, okay? So it roughly took 10 seconds, okay, 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna switch over to Cycles and let's see how long it takes for Cycles. Now with Cycles, I did deactivate the, the denoising viewport because we don't have, we have that in, uh, in Octane, but I'm not using it just to keep everything, you know, on the kind of the same level. Here I got 50 samples set up. Again, no denoising, just like in Cycles and Octane, no denoising. And let's hear again. Now, unfortunately we don't have a clock or a timer, so I'm just gonna count. And actually, let's wait for it to initiate because that doesn't count for the first one, okay? That, it takes time for it to initiate. So let's go ahead and just move the viewport and let it start over. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1, okay? roughly 12 seconds okay it took roughly 12 seconds so it's about give or take about two which i've kind of done with the timer on my phone it was about two to three seconds different in viewport so that's kind of it for the viewport now you have to realize this is a subsurface material on this for both of them they both are using a subsurface material because i know that's really taxing on the the system here so you figure if you're using just like a default or something else it should go a lot faster it'll be a lot clean, cleaner and faster so next let's kind of look at and let's see as far as overall render times now what i did was i've kind of set up a couple of images that i rendered so i've got some side by side comparisons here on the left side i've got cycles here this is our cycles image here on the left side and on the right side here is octane now i tried to get them as close as possible they have the same material both of these materials are from mega scans i tried to get the, the size as close as i possible you can kind of see it's a little bit off they all have an image map, a roughness, and a n the normals in. None of them are using displacement. And then on the monkey, I just have a general diffuse material with roughness on, full roughness, okay? So literally the Cycles version took two minutes and 58 seconds to render set for 500 samples. They both were at 500 samples, no denoising on, okay? And on the Octane version took three minutes and 43 seconds. 
Now, typically the Octane took longer because one, I'm using the free version of Octane and that requires an internet connection. We need to be connected to the internet in order for the server to work, okay? So give or take a few seconds, 10, 15 seconds probably for upload, okay? But if you have the paid version, you don't have to worry about having it connected to the internet. It will work pretty much like Octane or like Cycles does. But for the free version, we're limited to one GPU and we have to have it connected to the internet. Now you can clearly Clearly see here it looks like I'm almost using displacement here but I'm not this is just the normals and this is the normals in both of these so I clearly see we got some more definition in the normals cycles here looks a little bit like the light fall off is a little bit more contrasting that these both are using ggx punchy ggx punchy on both of them okay and you can clearly see the the color difference we do have a little bit more color difference the fall off here on the octane side is a little bit more soft and even the image is a little bit more uh, i would say almost it feels like it's a little bit more washed out again this is using ggx but if you clearly look at the background difference it's a lot more different just the way they both perceive the light so this was just a, a standard roughness material and let's go to the next one now on our next one here, I just did a full metallic material, okay? Full metallic material. Here is the Cycles version. The Cycles version took two minutes and 10 seconds to render this, two minutes and 10 seconds. Octane version over here took two minutes and 30 seconds. It took two minutes and 30 seconds, okay? Actually, no, actually I take that back. It was three minutes and 30 seconds, and this was two minutes and 10 seconds. So almost a whole second, uh, almost a whole minute. Again, I'm thinking it's the upload time. That's why I said I wish I had a, maybe the full version to really give it a, a true comparison. But this is just a general comparison to let you guys get uh, the lowdown, okay? So that was our, our metallic. Next, I did glass. Again, 500 samples, full glass material, full glossy. This is our Cycles glass. Our Cycles glass came in at 3 minutes and 50 seconds. 3 minutes and 50 seconds. And then our Octane glass, our Octane glass came in at 4 minutes and 17 seconds. And we can see a little bit of caustics kind of kicking through there. Here you can see it on both sides. Again, very similar. Just a I think maybe some slight difference in color up here. And up here too, you can see a little bit of difference in colors. So that's pretty much the glass. And then full subsurface material. Here on our cycle side, it took six minutes and 10 seconds at 500 samples. In Octane, it actually took five minutes and 23 seconds at 500 samples. So Octane came in on the winter on the subsurface. Again, like I've heard glass and subsurf are Octane's strong point. And you can clearly see the difference in the subsurface. Again, I tried to put the density as close as possible to both of these. Uh, again, not measuring it fully scientific, but as close as possible. Try to keep the number of values. I can clearly see here that the contrast or the depth or the thickness is a little bit different. You can see here on the ear and here it's a little bit more darker. Here you can kind of see we have a little bit of that the SS kicking in right there and along the eyes. And it's just a little bit different. Again, and plus in Octane, we have several different types. We have random walk, we have scatter, we have volume, we have uh, medium. There's a couple of different options for the subserver, way more than we did have cycles. So again, a little bit, I think we're probably leaning towards the Octane side on that as far as, but again, it's, it depends on your look. If you like the way this looks, or if you like this way, it depends on the person, right? And again, here was a different type of subsurface setup here i think on this one i ended up using a random walk and you can clearly see the random walk is a little bit different let me go back to you compared to our standard uh cycles version here the random walk has way more deep saturated colors and you can again you can still see we got some subsurface happening right there on the ear this one did take longer to render this one took six minutes and 30 seconds to render this one and you can clearly see the dark the, the contrast between the two are clearly different there so just right off the back out of that, I mean, Octane is slower for rendering time. You know, again, like I said, I don't know how long it takes to upload the stuff to the server and stuff like that. Minus that upload time, who knows? I don't know exactly. You can clearly see in the subsurface, it was a lot faster in the subsurface. For me personally, Octane is a little bit faster than Cycles when I'm in the viewport. There's other options too that I can optimize a little bit more, but my due to my GPU being so old, I can't really take advantage of RTX and stuff like that. I generally have a faster viewport on 
octane than I do in cycles, okay, for me. But render times, it seems like cycles might be the winner right now. And then again, like I will feel like cycles has a head start because octane has to upload, okay? So that's that. <laughs> <sighs> sorry guys sorry about that if you guys want to get more in depth about blender octane i do have a private community we're all hardcore about blender octane and learning together to try to get the word out for blender octane gumroad i got a lot of bunch all bunch of free stuff on the gumroad setup files materials things like that patrick lavar keep rendering it's the only way you'll get better peace